Hey Internet, welcome to Thermodynamics Tutorial 4-10e. The E represents English units. This is an imperial question. We have a frictionless piston cylinder device containing 16 pound mass of superheated water vapor at 40 PSIA and at 600 degrees Fahrenheit steam is cooled at constant pressure until 70% of it it condenses. Find the work done during the process. Step 1. Draw your free body diagram, your FBD. You get a point for drawing a picture related to the question. In this case it's a PV diagram. Step 2. Find your initial specific volume. So little v1 is equal to v initial. So we go to our table at the back of our textbook. If you bought the PDF, you can use your search function, control F, type in table A-6E. We go to 40 PSI A. PSI A represents the atmospheric pressure. And then we go to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and our specific volume is 15.686 foot cubed per pound mass. Step 3, find the final specific volume. So in the question it said the mass condenses to 70% so we just subtract that which gives us 30% so that's 0 0.3 which is the quality of our steam. We know that it, it is at constant pressure, so P1 is equal to P2, so P final is equal to 40 PSI, so no change. Now we go to table A-5E, we go to 40 PSI, now it's cooled down to a saturated mixture, so what we do is we need to find the values of VF and VG. So VF is your saturated liquid or your saturated fluid. So VF, so the F represents fluid, G represents gas, saturated vapor. All right, so write down these values. So VFG is equal to VG minus VF. Now, your specific final volume is equal to VF plus your quality multiplied by your VFG. So, our quality X is 0.3, 30%. So, that's where that comes from. Our VFG is VG minus VF. That's where this comes from. And that's why you needed to write down these values before. Okay, so your V2, your final specific volume, is equal to 3.1623 foot cube per pound mass. Step 4, find the boundary work. So now we need to do the integration. So W boundary work out is the final state integrate with the initial state so PDV and then that becomes P multiplied by the difference in your actual volume which is V2 minus V1 so what that actually is it's M multiplied by P multiplied by the difference in specific volume so M is your mass multiplied by your pressure multiplied by the difference in specific volume of final minus initial. So what the M actually does is it turns the little V's into a capital V. Okay, so your 16 pound mass is given in your question. Your pressure is also given in your question, your 40 PSIA. Your little v2 and little v1 is what you found in step 3 and 2 so 
V2 is over here. That is your 3.1623 and your 15.686 is found from your step 2 from your table A-6E over here. All right. Make sure you get your conversion factors in. Now your boundary work is minus 1483 BTU. BTU meaning British Thermal Units. So note that it's a negative sign. That means work is done on the system. So that is work input. Disclaimers, the method is correct. However, I do make calculation mistakes. I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Leave a comment below if this was helpful. Until next time, see ya.